describe. Uh, an unusual one, which can only do it twice a year. We've gone from Warminster to Imba. We've got a gorgeous super set of life. So, <laughs> this is actually the stop at Imba, but we're staying on it because we're going to see some more villages and drive uh, through the Wiltshire countryside. Probably when we come back to Imba on the return journey, we'll get off here. But at the moment, there's about six million people <laughs> moving around from 20 however many buses which are running. But uh, what do you think so far, darling? Really good. Yeah. Yeah. Worth the ten pound each. Just for a, yeah. a good it's bus ride. ride. Yeah. yeah. So it's been indulgent, though. Yeah, it's a lovely day. Well, <laughs> not that bad outside. It's, it's warm. It's yeah. dry. Uh, and then more than that, we can't really ask for, can we? No, that's true. Here we are. So, let's turn you around. Yeah, leave it. You can see uh, a bit of a view of the few people queuing up to get in the bus in front of us. And I'll drop my phone down there. And over here we have a, an old Sharabang bus. Sharabang bus. Yeah. Apparently, Apparently, Vaseline is everybody's friend. <laughs> uh, did they know something about Vaseline that I don't? No, I don't know. <laughs> but, this is one of the buses I used to use going to work. Yeah, and, and well, this is a very empty upstairs of the bus <laughs> because we're waiting, the bus is queuing to pick up more passengers. We'll be coming here and the people that are waiting will come on this bus and some of them will come running upstairs and we'll get mobbed. Yeah. But at the moment, we are the only passengers on the bus. On the bus. Well, unless it's oh, on the downstairs. Yeah. The small, isolated village of Imber on Salisbury Plain in Wiltshire was acquired by the Ministry of Defence in 1943. The whole population of 150 were evicted to provide an exercise area for American troops preparing for the invasion of Europe during World War II. The villagers were promised it would be returned after the conflict, but like the village of Tynham in the neighbouring county of Dorset, this never happened. A nice lot of Wiltshire countryside. Yeah. Military. <coughs> oh, military countryside, yeah. They've got an awful lot of brown to use, haven't they? Well, yeah. You can't, you can't play war games on a little patch, can you? You've got to have a big bit. That's true. You've got to have clumps of trees, you can go around and hide. Is that an open top route, Master, as well? Yeah. Well, I think we're definitely on a, a military road, no passing places. <laughs> passing places, this is a single track road. Oh, 
actually bought a new pair of jeans. Since 2009, the annual summer opening of the village has been served by a growing fleet of old and new buses from London and elsewhere. Over the years, the route of these buses has increased to include other villages, not on the ranges, but rarely seen by public transport users. We broke our journey at Till's Head having lunch at the village hall and watching the many different buses arrive and depart. Even a brand new London electric bus made an appearance. I did notice it later being charged by a massive diesel generator which somewhat blighted its environmental credentials. Even a big wheel tractor made an appearance, which gave Julia an extra thrill. As we travelled around on the buses, it used to remind me of the silly things we used to get up to. Like swinging off the back of the bus as we went round the corner, before we used to get off. It was great fun at the time, we didn't realise how dangerous it was. Yeah. Well, it doesn't look like the double glazing salesman's got down here yet. No. You know, Phil don't, doesn't he? Yeah. But, actually, no, because Mum said the army overtook the village, said they'd give it back after the war, but they never did. Mighty cows over there. Oh, yeah. So they need lots of cows. But I see other stuff as well as cows. Tanks. Yep, old military hardware. Tank over there as well. I don't know where it was. There it is. Got it. Well, it gives us something to aim at, doesn't it?